hello everyone so today I will be uh, running 86 box with the Haswell optimized version and um, I will be running K62 300 megahertz with uh, this this was a processor from AMD which was supposed to um, be a competitor for the Pentium 2 processor but it never it wasn't really that fast I had a K62 350 back in 1998 and then I also had a uh, I, think it, I think it was a K63 450 as well I just upgraded the CPU and uh, this is for the super 7 soup Super Socket 7 motherboard. So let me start this. So if you run, want to run this on DOS, I mean on uh, 86 box, um, here's the configuration that I used. I used the uh, S3 Verge DX with 4 megabytes of RAM. That's the most you could use for that. And I use a Voodoo graphics video card. I use SLI. Set it at four megabytes each. And the input device for this, for some reason, Logitech Microsoft Bus Mouse doesn't work. Microsoft Bus Mouse Import doesn't work. Logitech serial mouse doesn't work Microsoft serial mouse doesn't work and I found that this is the only one that would work and if you don't use that one then you can't you, you can't move the mouse in uh, Windows 98 you're not gonna get a response so for the sound it's just sound blaster 16 for the media out device it's uh, system MIDI network I just left it blank I don't care about it so uh, for ports the LPT1 device is stereo LPT DAC that's what I selected this one I just didn't do anything here so for the hard drive I just Selected the image of the hard drive that had win. Well, I had to install uh, Windows 98 on it, a fresh copy. For some reason, if you um, use a uh, already installed Windows 98, which you use for another virtual machine, it will not boot. So you have to install a fresh copy of Windows 98 on it or Windows 95 and and then it will work so for this I selected a drive is 1.44 megabyte 3.5 inch 5.25 inch is B drive a 1.2 megabyte floppy drive and for the CD-ROM I selected ATAPT ATAPI so this one right here it's not SCSI and it's just an ADEX and other removable I didn't add any uh, zip drives or anything like that so uh, as for the hard drive make sure you select IDE because it's going to be on SCSI by default so select IDE if you if this is selected it won't boot SCSI won't boot so it's IDE so now I'm going to boot up the system show you that everything does work set it at 512 megabytes RAM it is a little bit slow as you can see it's about 40% that is not very good this to play again this is so annoying okay let me get out of here so 
but right now it's kind of sluggish at 49%, 48%. I don't think you could run any games with this, with this processor. It's not going to happen, it's just way too slow. I guess I don't have a fast enough processor to, to use this processor, emulated processor, so as you can see that this is Windows 98 and the CPU that I'm using is an AMD K6 3D processor with 512 megabytes of RAM so so the K6 II processor had something called 3D Now so it enabled you to play 3D games better with it but I really didn't think that really worked for every game the game would have to support that in order for it to work so if it doesn't optimize with 3D Now then you're probably not going to see any benefits from it from what I remembered back then that that was one of the main reasons why uh, I switched to a uh, Pentium 2 processor in 1999 I bought an 8 bit BE6 motherboard and I bought a Celeron 400A with it but then later I upgraded the processor to a Pentium 2 for 450 so uh, this is what it has as you can see uh, the mouse this this has some kind of I um, O conflict or something let me check it out yeah there's there's some kind of conflicts with the resources it's conflicting with the sound blaster these are some of the problems that you had with, with the old computers. Okay. So that's why I select the Dodger mouse, the PS2 mouse. This one works. If you select the Dodger mouse, it, you really wouldn't get a response. You couldn't move the mouse around. So it's a sound blast. So I have two Voodoo 2 3D FX 3D accelerators here, which I set in the configurations for 86 box, and I have a Sound Blaster 16. There's some I/O conflicts here. This is one of the reasons why I didn't like AMD uh, products back in the back in the 90s, and um, K62350 and the K63450 were the only AMD products that I owned back in the 1990s. But in um, around 2000, I bought a Athlon XP. I really regretted buying it because it has so many problems with it, so many stability issues. But uh, now AMD. Um, processors are a lot better than how they were back then but I didn't have any stability issues with the K6 to um, 350 or the K6 3 450 I didn't have any issues with uh, reliability however the performance performance was definitely lagging behind the Pentium 2 or the Pentium 3 processor that was an issue that I had with it. And as you can see, it's right now it's running pretty sluggishly, like 40%, 30%. That's not good enough to run games. Not at all. Okay, let's play this sound. Yeah, as you can see, it's uh, kind of like... The sound isn't good. It's not perfect, therefore it's not... Uh, running optimally. Okay, play that again. So a K6 II does work, which is interesting.
yeah so basically this is how it is so it's not running well with my processor so I have an i7 4790k processor running at 4 gigahertz uh, with uh, 4 cores with hyper threading with 32 gigabytes of RAM the video card that I'm using on this computer is basically a um, it's a PNY GeForce GTX 970 with 4 gigabytes of RAM and I built this back in um, 2000 late 2014 the computer and uh, yeah this computer's pretty slow I don't think I'll be emulating I'm gonna try to emulate something else let me try to emulate something that's less than this let's see if we can get better performance or what let's try a K62233 let's kind of like lower it around to 256 well, let's see if this runs better or not Not that much better. Still, you see those sound distortions. That's not good. I got better results with the Pentium 2 233 overdrive, the last video that I had, that I did a couple of days ago. You could, I'll leave it in the video descriptions or the end screen so you could see it. But this is, this is awful. This is not good at all. It's like 50%. I mean, this is at idle, too. This is not even doing anything right now. Let's run some simple programs like. Uh, I'm running a calculator and the calculator hasn't changed much since um, 1990 since Windows 98 and 1998 and the icon stuff hasn't changed it's pretty much the same as uh, it was compared to Windows 7 when Windows 7 was released around was 2000 and I'm not sure 2000 Windows 7 released around 2010 or something I'm not sure get the screen bigger. To make the screen bigger it's alternate control page up. Just like that. Okay, let's see. Anything else around there? Internet Explorer. Let's run paint. 
this hasn't changed at all. Still have paint. Let me get out of here. It's alternate control page down. Take it out. Okay, so it's running pretty slow. So I guess I, I would have to have a faster computer if I want to run it, run this at optimal speed. And the um, 86 box is very much like PCM. It's just a fork of uh, 86 box is, is a fork of PCM. So it's a develop. It was developed from PCM. Has a lot more features though. It uh, you could uh, use it for. You could use it for Pentium 2, which is not available in um, PCM, and you could use SCSI uh, controllers, and that was not available in PCM. And that's the benefit of it, pretty much. Okay, thanks for watching my Ace 1000KS 1975 signing out.